some knowledge so dangerous that we just can't give it to everybody. And if we believe that the First Amendment applies to everything, everybody should have access to everything, then we're going to destroy ourselves. You wouldn't want to give everybody the prince to the atom bomb. And a lot of the information we're creating is very similar to uh, that in its power, like the sequence for a deadly disease. It's just information. Is, is it just speech? Do, should we give it to everybody? Dogs and cats and mice and rats have over 90% the same set of genes that we have, which is why their biology is so similar. But we have the limitations of our genetic heritage. We make our judgments based on our visual acuity. I see you as a, an intact individual. I don't see you as 100 trillion cells, because our visual acuity doesn't allow that level of measurement. But yet that's what each of us has in our body, and each of those cells has the same complete set of uh, genes and the biology of that cell structure is shared uh, with every other mammal and most other species on the planet. We are still evolving. We don't know where that evolution will take us or other species. Smallpox is the greatest threat because of its, its uh, high lethal power and the ability to be uh, disseminated and it's contagious. It could be transmitted from one person to another. It's a very um, realistic scenario that, that somebody infected could spread the disease among passengers of, of the commercial flight. The person could fly essentially anywhere in the world. So if people are not prepared to, to be careful if people are not, do not take measures to protect themselves from casual spread of the disease, that a single infected person could be very dangerous. I'm not sure that we're going to change the subsidies until we appreciate the true impact of climate change and its devastating effects on our environment. Climate change is real. It's taking place as we speak. The race is on. There's a lot of things we can do. We can make it uh, marketplace friendly to reduce greenhouse gases. Obviously, alternate energy, nuclear power. We can make the necessary steps if we will uh, have the courage to do so and face up to the issue. All the special interests that are arrayed against it will argue that it'll cripple our economy. The fact is, if we don't do something about this, then our economy as well as our environment is going to be crippled because we'll have to take far more draconian measures the longer we wait.